Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 2nd of 2021, well, it is titled a colorful quadranted meteor. So what do we see here? Well, this is the streak of a meteor, a small bit of a particle of an asteroid or comet that burns up in the Earth's atmosphere. Now, when we see a meteor and we look at one, we see a streak of light across the sky, which is there and gone. However, a camera and photography can pick up far more detail than the eye is possibly able to see. And so we see this uh, meteor streak here, but we also see a lot of different colors from some red weaving around it. But we also see some purple in the middle and then green over towards the right side. Now the different colors can tell us about the uh, meteor and what it might have been made up of. So when we see blue green that's typically has a magnesium associated with it. Calcium can look violet and nickel can also look green. So we can get some ideas of those. The red is actually likely not associated with the meteor itself, but with energized atoms within Earth's atmosphere. So when it heats up the Earth's atmosphere, it can excite the oxygen and nitrogen, which make up most of our atmosphere and cause them to glow. And in the upper atmosphere, that often gives us a very red light that we can see here. So we can look at the meteor, something we'd never be able to see with our eye, but we can in this image that was photographed early this month. So just uh, very recently, that was able to give some details and show various different colors, including the reds from our own atmosphere and some purple and green color also associated with the meteor. Now meteors, as I said previously, occur when little bits of a comet or asteroid that have been left behind in the orbit will strike the Earth's atmosphere and they strike Earth's atmosphere at a very high speed and vaporize. So we see that trail where the particle is vaporized within the atmosphere and that then is that then occurs and it burns up the vast majority of these meteors never make it near the Earth's surface. So they never can get down to the Earth because they are small and they just burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. Larger meteors can make it through the atmosphere and make it down to Earth to be then detected or found as meteorites. And of course, very large ones would could cause very significant damage to Earth and the uh, environment here on Earth if they were to strike. Fortunately, while meteors occur every single day, very large objects that would cause an extinction level event are very rare and only occur over many millions or even tens of millions of years. And that would be similar to the one that occurred that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs about 65 million years ago. So for most meteors that we look at, we just get a pretty show across the sky, such as the one we get to see today. So that was our picture of the day for February the 2nd of 2021. It was titled a colorful quadranted meteor. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be moon rock and roll. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.